In this video, I'm bringing you guys some unfortunate news. It looks like an absolutely awesome studio will be leaving PlayStation very soon because of the fact that it looks like Microsoft will be acquiring this studio. Microsoft has been in full acquisition mode. They acquired Ninja Theory and a bunch of other studios. And now we are being led to believe that Microsoft is going to acquire another fantastic studio and their games will become Xbox and Windows exclusives. Also, we posted a couple days ago about how the November 2018 PlayStation Plus lineup may have been revealed with Yakuza Kiwami and Bulletstorm Full Clip Edition. A lot of you guys were a little bit skeptical, but it actually looks like a Sega PR rep let the cat out of the bag as well. She posted a tweet, but that tweet has since been deleted. Want to take a look at what that tweet says and why it pretty much confirms that Yakuza Kiwami, if nothing changes, will be a plus title in November. We've also got the announcement of a brand new PlayStation VR game coming off the second anniversary for PSVR. It looks like Rockstar is already laying the foundation for their next game after Red Dead Redemption 2, and it could feature the return of one of their IPs that a lot of us have wanted another game to. And lastly, I want to take a look at a brand new trailer for a pretty interesting game and anime making the transition to the video game realm. Want to talk a little bit about Tokyo Ghoul Ray Call to Exist at the end of this video. First, let's talk about the fantastic studio in Obsidian Entertainment being acquired by Microsoft. Now, this is coming from Kotaku, Jason Schreier, who is always on point with his reporting. This this rumor was circulating for quite a while. Obsidian said they don't comment on rumors, but given the fact that this has been circulating for quite a while, Microsoft has been in acquisition mode with a bunch of different studios, and they even said that they're not done acquiring studios. They've acquired Compulsion, they got Ninja Theory, they created new studios, and now it looks like they're close to buying Obsidian as well. Now, if you're not familiar with Obsidian, shame on you because they've worked on some fantastic games, including Fallout New Vegas. They did South Park The Stick of Truth, which a lot of people thought that game was better than The Fractured But Whole but they've also put out Pillars of Eternity, Pillars of Eternity 2, they put out Tyranny on PC, they have crafted some excellent RPGs, and I always go to bat for them and recommend Pillars of Eternity on PlayStation 4. Whenever that game is on sale, you guys will hear me talk about it because it is such a tremendous game. Now, obviously, on one sense, I have to be sad about Microsoft acquiring Obsidian because that means those games won't be coming to the PlayStation 4. In the same token, this is just something that happens in the gaming world, and for Obsidian to have the backing of Microsoft, that would be absolutely huge for them, and Microsoft needs to acquire quality studios. A lot of people hate on Microsoft because they don't have a ton of great first parties, but they are expanding. They have Ninja Theory. They have Playground. They have Compulsion. They have 343 Coalition. And now if they get Obsidian 2, they have a really good first party. And what is very exciting about this to me is that means that Microsoft is going to get a first party, and that means that Sony is also going to have to step up their game. The one complaint with Microsoft has always been their first party. Sony just completely demolishes them on that end. But with Microsoft legitimately acquiring some great studios, and it looks like they're on a higher spree. Playground is expanding. They might be creating more new studios. Who knows what other acquisitions are in the works? There's a lot of potential for new games on Xbox platforms. Now, I don't know if these are going to be Xbox One titles, possibly next Xbox titles. I think the Xbox One story has kind of already been written at this point, and even if a bunch of great exclusives are released for it, I don't think there's any chance it's coming back and beating the PlayStation 4, but if they can lay a solid first-party foundation for next generation and craft some amazing exclusives for the next Xbox, then the competition might be a lot closer closer with the next Xbox and the next PlayStation. I think a lot of you guys think it's a formality that the PS5 is going to destroy the next Xbox, and I don't see it that way at all. Microsoft has been making some major moves, and acquiring Obsidian would be another major one. So take that as rumor for now, but again, it's coming from Jason Schreier of Kotaku, and he's usually on point with all of his reporting. Okay, moving on from that, for those of you that were a little unsure and didn't know what to make of PlayStation.com kind of leaking that Bulletstorm Full Clip Edition and Yakuza Kiwami would be the PlayStation Plus lineup for the month of November, it was actually a tweet being said sent out by Sarah Wellock, who is a Sega Europe PR rep. She tweeted out this, and by the way, the tweet has since been deleted, so that kind of puts more fuel on the fire. Quote, this is not a drill. Yakuza Kiwami is going to be in the PlayStation EU November PS Plus lineup. Kiwami is a remake of Yakuza 1 and a great title to get into the series and meet Majima everywhere. Now at this point, if you don't think Yakuza Kiwami is going to be a plus title for the month of November, I really don't know what to say. I know we've been burned in the past with Diablo 3 Eternal Collection being rumored, with EO being rumored, but this time around, it came directly from PlayStation.com, and I think that also means that Bulletstorm Full Clip Edition will be a plus game for the month of November. And that's a very good lineup. Coming off a lackluster month in October, in my opinion. I know some of you guys disagreed with me on that. November will see no complaints from me because Yakuza Kiwami and Bulletstorm Full Clip Edition, those are some solid, solid games. Again, you can continue to take that as rumor, but at this point, I think it's a foregone conclusion. Moving on from that, we just celebrated the second anniversary of PlayStation VR, and Rush VR has just been announced for PSVR. This will be released before the year's out, and here's the description of the game. Take a dive into the address 
adrenaline pumping world of wingsuit flying with rush VR, soar down mountainsides at breakneck speeds, weave through canyons, dodge outcrops, and plummet down sheer drops as you race towards the finish line. Do you have what it takes to walk a tightrope and near terminal velocity? Now I think wingsuit flying and VR goes completely hand in hand. This is the type of experience that seems perfect for PlayStation VR. And the game itself does tout challenging races over 80 unique mountain paths to master from basic downhill trails to expert level suicide runs through the narrowest of spaces. Multiple game modes, race to the finish, time attack, and score challenge, each requiring a different set of skills and strategies to succeed. And it'll have epic multiplayer jumps where you can challenge up to 11 of your friends online or quick race against random jumpers. Rush VR is set to hit exclusively to PlayStation VR in winter of 2018. Dominate the leaderboard. Challenge friends online. Experience the thrill. Moving on from that, of course, all of us are looking forward to the release of Red Dead Redemption 2 coming from Rockstar, but it looks like Rockstar is actually laying the foundation for another game in Bully 2. Now, Bully was one of the more well-received Rockstar releases, and I'm really surprised that they haven't gone back and revisited the series. They only made one game, and it was released all the way back on the PlayStation 2 and Xbox 360, so you can imagine how old the game is. However, Rockstar is sending out a bunch of casting calls for a new unannounced video game title with leading UK developers shooting at Pinewood Studios. Specifically, what they're looking for are teenage and young roles and involve placeholder names for the characters. Mild violence and profanity will be used in scenes with the younger performer. The project itself is a thriller drama and all scenes with the young performer will be handled with sensitivity. These are for motion capture acting roles and Rockstar Intel had the post. Bully 2 has been something, again, a lot of gamers have wanted for a long time and it's so surprising to me that Rockstar, with everything that they know now, with the promotional muscle that they have, why haven't they revisited Bully? This game was received well, I believe commercially it did pretty well and considering what rockstar has manifested now with red dead redemption and red dead redemption 2 after red dead revolver i don't think it's out of the realm of possibility and make something that gets the same level of critical reception that rdr did maybe that's wishful thinking but i think with rockstar's talent now bully 2 would have all of the potential in the world and lastly i do want to give a shout to tokyo ghoul ray call to exist we just had a brand new trailer for the game come out from new york comic-con and tokyo ghoul is finally making the transition to the video game realm this is once again being put out by bandai namco they're putting out out a My Hero Academy game as well at the end of this month, and now we have Tokyo Ghoul Ray Call to Exist. Now, I do have to say, even though I watched Tokyo Ghoul, and even though I did enjoy it more than most people, it seems like a lot of people complained about that show due to its unfaithfulness to the anime, and the fact that it was rushed a little bit. I believe they condensed like 60 chapters out of the book into 12 episodes in the anime, so that's a little bit crazy, but Tokyo Ghoul, popularity-wise, is still up there, and now it's getting a video game, but I have to say, this video game just gives me vibe of a heavy action dynasty warrior style game which i think is the complete wrong way to go about an anime game i think they did something cool with black clover i think my hero academy is getting a really cool game tokyo ghoul ray call to exist still not completely sold on it but i'm excited to see how it turns out i think there are a lot of cool anime ips that can be turned into very compelling video games and i would see tokyo ghoul as one of those however what i've seen out of tokyo ghoul ray call to exist hasn't tickled my fancy completely but i'm hoping for the best and hopefully it can turn out to be something at least relatively decent when it's released in 2019 and that's going to conclude this video. Again, it looks like Obsidian Entertainment will be acquired by Microsoft, and that means that their games will not be released on the PlayStation 4. Rather, they will be Xbox and Windows exclusives. It also looks like Yakuza Kiwami will be a PlayStation Plus title for the month of November. I think that's pretty exciting. I know some people aren't super into Yakuza. They don't really get the hype. I think offering that game as a Plus title is a really good idea, however. For all of you PlayStation VR owners, Rush VR is hitting the platform before the year is out. It looks like Bully 2 might actually be coming to fruition, and Tokyo Ghoul Ray call to exist has gotten a new trailer nice to see tokyo ghoul getting a video game but with the ip i just expected a little bit more hopefully they can prove me wrong with the official release that's gonna wrap up this one sound off with all of your thoughts in the comment section down below thank you for watching and goodbye this video is brought to you by scdkeys.com. You need store credit to buy your games anyway, so why not get it for a bit cheaper? They've got PlayStation Network $50 credit codes, and after you use our special code with GC3, you'll be getting that for just $46.64. Also, if you're looking to buy games on your Nintendo Switch, they've also got Nintendo eShop codes for $45.59 after you use the code GC3. They've also got fantastic deals on PC software such as Windows 10 and Office 2019. Check out the links in the description box below to get great deals on everything I just mentioned.